Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of Loquacious One. How is all my little sugar plum fairies and gumdrops doing today? I hope everyone is doing fine. I hope everybody's out there taking advantage of all these great deals they're having. I'm not going to say sales because I don't see a whole whole lot of sales, but I see a lot of trending going on with my dollar store venues, such as Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General. <clears throat> all of them are trending up a storm. Uh, welcome if you're a new or first time viewer or even if you're a returning subscriber come on in get you a cup of hot tea or what have you and let's see what I found this is a continuation of Dollar General that I've been doing I have been like on fire for this red truck stuff trying to chase it down and I've got just about everything that I wanted on my wish list for this season as far as decorations I am just about through it is wonderful. Beginning of November, I'm just about through with that. All I have to do is concentrate now on my gift items. So with that being said, let me show you some of the things that I got at the Dollar General. First thing I got is on my previous Dollar General haul, I hauled this. It was Cut Your Own Christmas Tree Farm, the Pine, Fir, Spruce, and Cedar. And I found these little bakery bags. It's a six-count bag. By holiday style for a dollar. I grabbed two of these. And the set that I hauled previously, they had placemats, which I got four of those. They had an oven mitt. Uh, they had the towels. And they had the pot holders. That was included in the set. So this goes with that. So that's on trend and really cute. Okay. Um, the next thing I found was these gift bags. It's a two count. But holiday style is $2.50. Two different size bags, but they coordinate in color. They are burlap. This one says Merry Christmas and it has the red truck design on it. And this one is this red and green with gold, but um, Lurex thread shot through it, which goes with placemats that I hauled from um, Dollar Tree and also the ribbons. So this will go in that decor because I have a rustic type look to my kitchen for the holiday season. Also what I'm looking for and one of the few items remaining that I have to get, they have a larger size gift bag with this design on it as well as they have one with the camper with the light bulbs on it. I'm looking for those two bags and I think they're like 350 but they're larger than this. Next I found these placemats. They're plastic. Uh, like I said, the other uh, Christmas placemats I got at Dollar General were the Cut Your Own Tree Farm. Well, this has the red truck in it also with the sled and presents. But it has a beautiful, beautiful um, snowy tree scene that I like. And I only found two of these. Unless I find the others, what I plan to do with this is DIY this and put it like in a picture frame and have it lit with the LED lights that I got from... Uh, Dollar Tree. So that's the project I have planned for that. Another thing I found keeping with the red truck theme, and I thought this was so cute by Holiday Style Krause is this foam ornament activity kit. It says make memories and it's a five count project and they simply make the little um, red truck with this little foam uh, kit that includes everything you need four or five ornaments and all the decorations I thought that would be a fun activity for my nieces and nephews when they come over that's something I'm going to throw in the box for them to do I also found these and I think they're so cute they had about two or three different um, flannel uh, patterns but I like the buffalo check has a little pine decor in it and I thought it was so cute to go with my rustic style kitchen. And I purchased three of those because they were all the only three they had in this design. It has a little bit of holly berry in it also. So yeah, I got those. And this is what I was on the hunt for. This little red truck Christmas tree with the um, salt and pepper shaker. The uh, three hole truck and the two hole Christmas tree if it's down in there I took it out but I thought this was just awesome not exactly the best paint job on it but it will suffice and it will do I have no problem with it I think Family Dollar also has one I'm not for sure but I'm on the lookout for that one too now if you like um, 
Kitchen towels, I found this. It's not red truck themed, okay? But this is a good quality towel set. And it was $4, but hey, it was from Dollar General. I like the snow flake pattern on it, the silver thread. I thought it was just awesome. Great deal. Um, it said it was an embroidered kitchen towel set of two. I'm going to use this one in the bathroom, this top one. The gray one goes with some gray towels that I have for my kitchen. So I'll use that for that purpose. And I'll put this with other things I have for the bathroom. You can think outside the box. You don't have to use things for the specific purpose that it states it for. Just so you know, that's $2 for a nice hand towel. That's how I see that. But I didn't want to buy two sets just for this. So I will be using that, just that one for that particular setup I have. And next, this is just a little something I got. It's by Simple Pleasures. It's a vanilla caramel scented body mist, 4.1 ounce. I am going to put it in my bathroom for Christmas because I like to set out little hand lotions and body mist and things that my guests can use. If you want to put this in a basket, you can. They had several body products that you can use from um, scents to creams. They even had really nice... Um, what was that? Uh, decanter, soap decanter shaped like Christmas tree, Santa Claus, and snowman. They were $2 a piece, so you might want to look out for that. Now, I have to lay this down because I simply want to show you my next item that I found. And this was cool because I know purchased about, folks, three different uh, doormats. And this was by Holiday Style also. And they had another one. Um, they had a, another one that was the red truck that I showed in the previous haul. This one is six dollars. However, it's a decorative doormat. It is a kind of thick foam base. It's thicker than the others. So on the back you can see. So this would be more for the um, outside because it has that ability with that rubber to absorb, or at least not let water from your boots. Our shoes see through, but look at it. It is a red truck with a Labrador Retriever, the snowman. They're bringing home this awesome big Christmas tree. I think this is just so awesome. Red truck. Yeah. I'm telling you, Dollar General, they did it up this year. No complaints against them with my red truck uh, decor. Okay, folks, that's it. That's all that I found. I got about everything on my wish list. Um, this little vanilla caramel spray is light, smell good. I don't know how long it lasts, but it smelled awesome. The throw was good. Found my little salt and pepper shaker. I want to look out for one more because I'm using these as collectibles. I don't know how you would use them for your actual dinner table or what. You could use them for your breakfast and your kitchen or whatever. Not for my uh, Christmas dinner. But I'm looking for the um, one that Family Dollar carries if they have it. I'm not for sure. I'm looking for the larger gift bag for this one. As well as the one with the camper with the light, string of lights. Um, what else do they have that I need? That is about it. And my wish list is just about complete. And like I said, I did purchase two more items with this haul. And that was a uh, the little red truck um, set up. It was like you put out in your yard perhaps. But I'm not going to put it out in my yard. I'm going to put it in the corner of my living room. It's $20, but I have to set that up. And I also had one of those um, signs that light up. And it just simply said, Joy, I'll show you those in my upcoming haul because I have to set that up and it's battery operated okay but that's it that's all for my little uh, haul I hope you enjoyed I hope you were inspired I hope you share don't forget if you have any questions cares comments concerns leave in the box below please subscribe thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it share if you're on social media there's more to come I love sharing this is a hobby not a living but I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers by years and that is my goal i never shot a goal at you all before but please if you are not a part of my youtube family do so i would greatly appreciate that 
And until the next time, I say to each and every one of you all, go out there, get some deals, and post some videos so we all can share in this uh, awesome season of giving as well as sharing. All right. Bye-bye.